the next topic is the polyatomic ions these are the ions that have more than one atom for example if you look at this no3 with one negative charge this is known as polyatomic ion polyatomic means more than one type of atom it has nitrogen it has oxygen and it is an ion because it has a negative charge so if you have more than one atom then you have to memorize the name of that polyatomic ion for example no3 with one negative charge is known as nitrate so if you have a formula written like this then what will be that what will that be the first one is the magnesium and no3 is a nitrate magnesium nitrate you can also so i can write down here on the separate here so if you have let's say they they give you this name magnesium nitrate and they tell you to write down the formula of that so first you think was 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 the formula for magnesium magnesium is mg with two plus charge and what is for nitrate no3 with one negative charge and remember we swap these numbers two becomes the subscript of nitrate not just oxygen and here one is for magnesium so the formula will be mg so you're going to put no3 in parentheses and it's going to be 2 and that becomes magnesium nitrate now following is the list of the polyatomic ions that you need to know for this class um if you have nh4 with one plus charge you call it ammonium c2h3o2 with one negative charge is the acetate oh negative is known as hydroxide now co3 with two negative charge is known as carbonate now if i will take carbonate and what i'm doing is i'm putting one hydrogen in front of it and getting rid of one negative charge it is hco3 then it becomes hydrogen carbonate or bicarbonate you can also call it as hydrogen carbonate the next is if you have po4 with three negative charge you call it as phosphate so that means if i am putting one hydrogen on the front with one negative charge what will that be hydrogen phosphate or biphosphate now here this is phosphate it has eight at the end so if you look here so what's the difference between this and this they both have phosphorus they both have oxygen they both have the same negative charge the difference is only in terms of number of oxygen atoms this one has one less oxygen atom so if there is one less oxygen atom than eight then what we do we put eight converts to ite so the name for this one will be phosphite ite so that's what is explained here so let's say if this is chloride then if you get rid of one oxygen then it becomes chloride so here and then if this is phosphite and if i'm putting hydrogen on the front with one less negative charge it will become hydrogen phosphite so4 with two negative is sulfate so if you have one less oxygen it will be sulfite and if there is a hydrogen on the front with one negative one less negative charge what will that be hydrogen sulfite this is nitrate one less oxygen nitrite so let's do this br03 with one negative charge is bromate 
वन लेस ऑक्सीजन विल मेक इट ब्रोमाइट नाउ एनदर थिंग वॉट दे सेड सो इफ यू हैव अ क्लोराइड एंड इफ यू गेट रिड ऑफ वन मोर ऑक्सीजन एटम देन इट देन यू कॉल इट एज हाइपोक्लोराइड सो इफ आई हैव एन ओ बी आर ओ टू नेगेटिव हेयर देन लुक हेयर इन दिस एंड दिस वॉज द डिफरेंस दैट दिस वन हैज वन लेस ऑक्सीजन हेयर आर टू हेयर आर टू एंड हेयर इज वन वन लेस ऑक्सीजन देन आइट मेक्स इट हाइपोब्रोमाइट कमिंग बैक हेयर दिस इज ब्रोमेट and here it has one more oxygen than bromate so this is the very starting one per bromate so this will be per bromate so you can start from here if you can uh, memorize the name of this one bro4 negative it is per bromate then one less oxygen makes it bromate one less oxygen than eight makes it bromide and one less oxygen than i it will be hyperbromide so that means this one is perchlorate one less oxygen is chlorate one less oxygen than chlorate is chloride and this one will be hypochlorite per iodate iodate iodide hypo iodide so if we have to write down the names of these ionic compounds that contain polyatomic ions then means you need to know the formulas for those polyatomic ions the first one is aluminum oh is a polyatomic ion and if you look in the list what is its name hydroxide so what will that be aluminum hydroxide so3 here what is so3 sulfide so what will this compound be aluminum sulfide what is hco3 it is bicarbonate then what will be the name of this compound barium bicarbonate po3 is phosphide so the name of this compound will be calcium phosphide what is this bro2 bro2 if you look here is bromide so it will be sodium bromide now this compound is made up of two polyatomic ions the first one is ammonium and the second one is clo4 and clo4 is perchlorate and nh4 with the plus is the ammonium so the name will be ammonium perchlorate so far we looked at the metals in the main group elements uh, those s and p block elements are known as main main group elements first a group has 1 plus second a 2 plus third a 3 plus and then fifth sixth and seventh a group have the negative charges now these are the transition metals they are also metals so that means they're going to have plus charge because metals lose electrons and they become positively charged so but the thing is with transition metals they can have variable charges they can have more than uh one type of charge there some of them can even have three or four charges for example if we take the transition metal copper copper can have a one plus charge or it can also have a two plus charge 
if it is one plus charge under systematic name we call it copper one now this one has to be roman numeral and its common name is cuprous if copper has a two plus charge then we're going to call it as copper two and its common name will be cupric the lower charge gets us the higher charge gets ik at the end similarly lead can have two plus four plus charge lead two lead four plumbus plumbic are their common names iron two plus three plus ferrous ferric tin two plus four plus is tin two tin four stannous stannic now silver uh, the compounds that are listed in your book or will be on the exam they they will be having all of them has a one plus charge so if you are writing the name of the any compound containing silver always write down silver with roman numeral one for example let's say the question is what is the formula for silver chloride so silver is ag with one plus charge and chloride is cl negative so it will be ag cl and they always write down silver as silver roman numeral one chloride for example if you are given this compound ag 2o so what's the name of this compound silver ag is silver and we know it's going to be one and i can see in the formula too roman numeral one o is oxygen oxygen becomes oxide zinc has a charge of two plus but we always write down just zinc we do not put roman numeral two next to the zinc for example this this is zinc and cl chlorine becomes chloride so the name is zinc chloride even though it has two plus charge but we do not put two next to it so let's practice a few um, compounds here i'm going to go to question number fifth first and then go back to fourth ferric oxide so you always think about okay this ferric oxide compound is made up of there are two words ferric and oxide ferric is coming from iron and since it says ferric that means we are talking about iron with 3 plus charge so ferric means fe with 3 plus charge oxygen is oxide comes from oxygen oxygen is in the 6th a group 6th a group elements have two negative charge so it is two negative can i cancel 3 plus with two negative no because um, the charges have to be same so the best way is to swap the numbers and write down f e 2 will come here o3 zinc nitrate zinc is zn with 2 plus charge nitrate is a polyatomic ion no3 with one negative charge you are swapping the numbers two goes here but make sure if you have a polyatomic ion and you want to put a subscript after after that you have to put a polyatomic ion in parentheses if you write down like this that is wrong then comes here cuprous oxide cuprous is from copper and cuprous means copper is with one plus charge so cuprous means cu with one plus charge oxide is from oxygen oxygen has two negative charge swap the numbers cu2o now this one uh, lead four means we are talking about pb with four plus charge sulfate is so4 is a polyatomic ion with two negative charge now swap the numbers and if i swap the numbers it will be 
2 will be the subscript for lead then sulfate and then here 4 goes here now ionic compounds this ratio the numbers here the ratios they have to be simplest whole number ratios can i simplify 2 and 4 yes so 2 times 1 is 2 2 times 2 is 4 so it will be pb so4 and then 2 remember ionic compounds are simplest whole number ratios now what if the formula is given to you and you have to write down the name so the first one is fe fe is iron but then iron i simply cannot write down iron it is very important to put either two or three i have to tell whether it's ferrous or ferric because their properties are different if you are going to simply write down iron sulfate that is wrong so how do you decide that if in this compound whether it is present as 2 plus or 3 plus so we know iron can have two possible charges fe2 plus fe3 plus sulfate is a polyatomic ion but and its charge is fixed it is two negative now which combination is the first or the second which combination is going to give me the given formula the first one because 2 plus cancels out with 2 negative the formula is FeSO4 that means in this compound iron is present as iron 2 so I can write down its name as iron 2 sulfate this will be the systematic name and the common name will be ferrous sulfate you have to know both of them for the exam now let's look at the next one here again i can see it is made up of iron and this so3 is known as sulfide sulfide has two negative charge so i'm writing it twice and iron can have two plus or three plus then think about which combination this or this give you the given formula in the first one 2 plus will cancel out with 2 negative so it will be just FeSO3 that's not what is given in the second one when I'm writing the formula and I will swap the numbers then I will get the given formula that means in the second one here iron is present as iron 3 plus so then what will be the name it will be let me erase that um, it will be iron you can say systematic name iron 3 sulfide because so3 is sulfide or ferric sulfide now for the rest of these uh, I'm going to give you the names you're going to practice that lead can have a charge of 2 plus or 4 plus NO2 is nitrite with one negative charge and the first combination will give me the given formula so it is going to be lead 2 nitrite or plumbus nitrite Similarly, this one will be in this lead is present as 4 plus. So, this will be plumbic nitrite. Zinc, if you remember, I said for zinc, you just write down zinc. You don't have to write down anything, no Roman numeral. And BRO2, if you will go back to your polyatomic ion list, is bromide. So, this will be zinc bromide. here copper can have a 1 plus charge or 2 plus charge PO3 phosphite has 3 negative charge so which combination will give me this formula the second one 
2 goes here, 3 comes here. So that means it is copper 2 phosphide or phosphide or cupric phosphide. Similarly, oh, yes, in this one, it is only difference is here was phosphide and here is phosphate. So it will become copper 2 phosphate or cupric phosphate. So this ClO4 is one negative that means Cu has to be plus 1 plus 1 neg negative 1 cancels out. So it will be copper 1 perchlorate or cuprous perchlorate. Again you need to know both, both type of names. Ag is silver and for silver you are always going to write down Roman numeral 1 in parentheses. And this C2H3O2 is a polyatomic ion and its name is acetate. The next one, this is tin. Tin can have a charge of 2 plus or 4 plus. And phosphate is PO4 is 3 negative. And we can see it here that this 3, this 3 is the, was the charge of phosphate and this 4 was on top of tin. That means we are using this one. So it is going to be tin 4 phosphate or the common name will be stenic phosphate. 